final lanterns. Okay, and now you can see how it all began. And you've never seen this footage before. Let's go back. <laughs> Starts with a circle. Mm -hmm. like, like it all began in Hitchhiker. Mad Madragia? What was the planet that made oh, planets? Okay. Magrathia. No, no. I'm right. Oh, you say it like that? From the movie? <gasps> uh, from the movie, they say Magrathia. I Ooh. Believe. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm embarrassed. You're going to all your friends. <laughs> I mean, I'll never forgive you, but all right. No, I mean, I'm kind of, I expected that I would be saying things different, because I know I was, the way it's written out, um, that other dude's name, um... <laughs> I don't really want to say it, but it's like, um, I was saying it, Zaphod, um, Zaphod Beeblebrox, but mm -hmm. it's like, when I was listening to a bit of a, of an audiobook for it, they were saying Zaphod, and it's oh. like, I mean, this book has been around since the 70s, I think that there's probably an established way to say it, and yeah. so like, if I'm just jumping in, in 2023, like, I'm probably the wrong one. I don't remember how they said that in the movie. I don't know. It's ha I haven't seen the movie since it was in theaters. <laughs> So what was that? Two thousand four, five, six. You really only saw it in theaters? Yeah. Goodness. Did you watch it separately? I don't think I saw it in theater at all. I oh. only watched it outside of that. When? Once. Um, it was August. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Why wasn't it important to you? Man, I said the real date. <laughs> oh no, it's the third. Oh no. <laughs> Man, when you try and be, like, silly, but like, mm. you say, like, real information. <laughs> Man, that's such an August 3rd vibe. <laughs> God, I can't remember the last time I watched it, but it was um, since being with Firm. So. Yeah, so this one has five lanterns, and it's not as if you and I watched this footage before a couple of months ago or anything. So this isn't something... Old that I'm telling you already. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so for a scene in my reel, the one with the treehouse, I had made four lanterns and I liked those, but I wanted to make lanterns anew. And so I did the same ones pretty much like pretty similar design, just like with stuff that I had learned in the meantime. And then I also added a lantern that I thought would look nice. So these are all like repeats for me but it's nice to see how much I improved on things and I don't know the four lanterns which you won't see um those I feel like I don't know there were all these little technical things that I realized I should have done differently it's like I was relying on the presets in Maya to do certain things with the material but there are certain things that I should have done in substance painter like when I was coloring them to begin with so it's like, I wasn't totally sure what material everything was going to be when I was making those first four for the scene in my reel. But it's like, I came into these five knowing what they were going to look like, like knowing that they were going to be made with paper or like what have you. So it's like, I textured it knowing that it was supposed to look like watercolory or whatever else. But it's like, when I was doing the other ones, which we won't see, I was a little less like defined on that kind of thing. And it's like the style of it wasn't consistent with like how the lantern looked. And so I am happy to look at these five and see that I was more thoughtful about the designs and how I went about making those designs. You should make jugs. You suggested vases recently. <laughs> should I make those? Should, should I make vase jugs? <laughs> well, they have different purposes. Mm. Yes. A vase is for flowers. Mm -hmm. A jug is um, for water, yeah. not flowers. That one gentleman, does he say vase? I don't think so. Okay, just wondering. It just reminded me of the vibe because <laughs> of... Um, yeah, it was a Hercules song. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go, adding some definition. I... Um, <laughs> I think it must have already happened and I wasn't paying attention, but it's like, it took me a really long time to like get the right shape for this particular lantern because I started off with a circle and it just, I feel like it took too long. So 
it won't even take long to the people who were paying attention during that part because I sped it up like super duper fast because it was just like this is embarrassing <laughs> like I'm taking way too long and this isn't even a complicated shape <laughs> and I still I can't <laughs> can't nail it down I keep fiddling with it for a long time just cut those edits down so you don't even see the fiddles I mean I cut down a lot Michelle cut it I don't want the videos to just be too, like, well, how did we get from point A to point B? Like, all I see right now is point Z. Like, I want to show... I can imagine. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're an imaginative young lady. <laughs> Not everyone can be like you. We can try. I guess. <laughs> Perfectionist. Oh, thank you. You had your vision and needed to match their vision. Mm-hmm. Is it a little bit like when you make people, you focus too much in a zone? How so? Because they're all very shaped in a way. Mm, okay. <laughs> and you were just up in the... Yeah. Michelle? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> It looks like a light, um, yeah, lighthouse. Hmm. Gosh, I, so it's like, berm isn't even back yet, but I, like, I just did my laundry today, and, um, I was thinking, like, man, I need to get certain things packed and squared away, like, to get into the car, and it's like, there's no need yet, like, he's not even here mm -hmm. <laughs> to, like, take the car away. <laughs> and I want nothing in the car for Honda trip. <laughs> exactly. So it's like, I... Although we do have those water jugs in there. Oh, no. What are they going to do to our water jugs? <laughs> Not my jugs. <laughs> and you most likely won't even see anything past the driver's seat. I suppose so. If you're willing to risk it. Our water supply. Yeah. We're going on a trip to Montana, by the way. Just for any curious <laughs> listeners. We, we said enough. <laughs> Read in between. <laughs> <laughs> they know specifically where we're going. <laughs> I think we can dip into our... Um, topics of, of conversation. Let's see. Lost. Let me think if I can think of any questions for you about Lost. Oh, gosh. Because um, I feel like I know a lot about Hurley. Mm -hmm. I feel like I like him the most, but that's. Oh. But then I know the most about him because I've already asked a lot of stuff about him. Okay. Um, gosh. Does he end up with Claire? Libby. Libby. Claire? I can't remember. Well, okay. Claire ends up with the one who he's mm, Charlie. Mary. Yeah, Charlie. <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> hmm. Libby. Claire. Libby was from the others. others. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Was she? I feel like all the others were bad people, though. No. Wait. Well, I mean, so there were the others, meaning the other half of the plane. Oh, okay, people, okay. And then the other others. Got it. <laughs> were the ones on the island before the plane crashed. So Libby was just from the other half of the plane. Yeah. Okay, that's acceptable. I yes. I like that. Libby. I mean, I can go on, but I don't know how much you really want to know. Ugh, I don't know. Ask something specific. Um. They all have like huge stories. So don't ask, like, tell me about her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I know that Lost and Once Upon a Time, it's, like, the same, like, producer or some, some or whatever, because mm -hmm. it's, like, I can tell that from the formats of the shows. It's, like, they have a real, like, here's what's happening in the present and here's what happened in the past kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and also the cast is really similar. So it's, like, Hurley was, like, he had, like, one teeny role in Once Upon a Time, and, like, there are a lot of other people who mm -hmm. have little roles. So I was wondering, um, the girl who plays Emma Swan, did she have a role in Lost? No. She didn't? No. But she's the main person. No. <laughs> huh. What about, um, what's her face? The, the evil queen, did she have a role in Lost? Yes. <laughs> okay. Who's she? <laughs> she was nobody. Oh. So there's a moment where, where um, Charlie has to go down uh, Charlie and Desmond, they go down to turn off the the, um, the blockers. to. They can't send out anything. It's being blocked by this um, underwater base. Mm -hmm. They're blocking any signals going out to help, to get help. 
So, Charlie and Desmond, they go down to um, to stop it. Mm-hmm. And the two people that are that are manning that base, one of them is Regina. Oh. But she gets shot. <laughs> <laughs> so she's Gosh. nobody. Quicken. I think she's got a line like, oh, we're going to get you. <laughs> That's about it. And then, and then she dies. <laughs> it's like Avery playing freeze tag. <laughs> Gosh, man, who else, um, who else crosses over in a major way? Juliet has a role. She's the Snow Queen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I see her face. Um, I can't think of any other person. Was Sawyer anybody? No. Oh, okay. (laughs) I mean, I just didn't even seem like his personality to Uh to be anything in that. Sawyer could have been the, um, Captain Hook guy. He wasn't. (laughs) Killian, I mean, like no, Killian is good who, for who he was in Once Upon a Time. Okay. <laughs> How were you able to do a mirror image of that one without moving it around? <sighs> okay, so if I'm mirroring just a mesh, which that little piece of a hook thing was, then it's easy to do it. Like, that's its own function. But when I have to mirror an entire, like, with the glasses... Um, Oh, too many components to just mirror? Or? Yeah, it's like, okay. that is like, I do this thing where it's like, I have to duplicate that mesh, and then I have to um, reverse the scale of it, so it's like negative one, all that stuff, um, so it goes onto the opposite side. So it's like, it's just a little bit of a different process, and that makes it easy to mirror a mesh, but not really easy to mirror components of a mesh. You got it just right on. <laughs> I did go to school. <laughs> For what? I had an art class. <laughs> <laughs> you have a, a couple of siblings. I drilled holes in bottle caps. <laughs> oh. Did you? Yeah. Where? When? Why? Art. In bottle caps. Yeah. From oh, wasn't that for Blutiful? <laughs> 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 okay, I see it in my in my mind's eye wall. My mind palace is wall of mm-hmm. my childhood bedroom. <laughs> High school bedroom. <sighs> oh my gosh. So it's like, this took a long time to draw. Um, <laughs> and I think I cut out a lot of footage. So it's like, I don't know. Ugh, one thing that's so rough is that I had this thing going on where I deliberately, like I'm not at that point yet, but it's like right now I'm blocking out some colors and then I um, outline them in a little bit, and I outline it not following the um, the outline of the color, because I'm like, mm, I think it'll look better, like spontaneous, and like that's the style I'm going for. But then um, toward the end of it all, I'm just like, no, incorrect. Like it needs to follow. I want it to be all within the lines. Like this looks weird otherwise, and so I redo it. And it's just like it would have been simpler if I had just made a decision about that. Um, that I stuck with. <laughs> so, past Elena just made makes mistakes and suffers for it. And like some of the ways that I make the outlines for these flowers, I change. So just don't get, don't fall in love with those. Fall in love with like the basics, but not like where I put all the lines. Where to the wise. And then I'm like, gotta make it look even more spontaneous. And then I change it. <laughs> <sighs> it's like the thing with the, the last one we were watching. It's like, <laughs> you gotta make it look rustic, but <laughs> at what point are you making it like too different? <laughs> yeah. You just have to decide that for yourself. And you, you decide wrong every time. And you cry. It's a hard process. Mm-hmm. And that's firsthand. <laughs> Gosh, that's like when I um, edit this footage, I always do like for the modeling sections, I make it five times the speed that was actually happening. And then for the coloring in parts, I make that eight times the speed of what's happening because I feel like it's, I don't know. It's like when I watch the drawing parts at five times speed, I'm just like, this is taking too long and I'm getting bored. So I speed it up a lot. But it's like when I get to particular sections within the drawing, I speed it up even more because it's like, um, I don't know, I think when I get to the outline bits, like those happen really quickly. And so it just means it's at like 
what must be 16 times speed because otherwise it would just be unbearable. But how much is this a, like a quarter and then it's being repeated? Um, like quarters? Oh, yeah, I think it might be, hmm, this Third. might actually be divided into fifths. Yeah, because I got radial symmetry on, so it's like, it's so handy because I can just decide how much of it I can do. So I think this might be fifths. Um, the one that follows this one, I think that's just divided in half. Um, the one that follows that is in thirds. So yeah, it's like, just depending on what's going on. So it's like, <laughs> if it weren't, um, if I weren't using radial symmetry, then it would be a really difficult life to live. Imagine having to do all of this, oh but like times five. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, changing the colors of those flowers. Oh I my like gosh. blue ones. Did you keep any blue? Um, I don't think I kept blue because, um, maybe, maybe I do. I can't. I don't know. <laughs> okay, and now I have to divide every blade of grass in half with a little line just to make it look really nice because otherwise it just looks so awful, obviously. Oh, I've fallen in love. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Um, I told you when we started this project that you shouldn't fall in love with me. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been able to read my own personal book in a little bit. I can't think of what your book was about last time. That exact thing you just said. Weren't you quoting my book to me? No. <laughs> <laughs> I Did quoting... I even mention that part in my book? Um, I don't know, but now I remember what your book is about. <laughs> that but he, that was something he'd said like and you gotta promise me that you won't fall in love with me okay when i when you said that to me way back whenever it would have been a week ago did i start talking about a walk to remember or wait no that's not the right movie what is it that was it you was it yeah okay Andy Moore. okay <laughs> okay then there i go oh. starting to clean up the edges but i only keep a teensy section of that because i just thought like no one's gonna care i don't care so yeah that's all you get to see of me cleaning up <laughs> The book you're reading right now, is it part of a series? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Torture. it's like the super short ones I was telling you, but some of them are longer. Oh, okay. So this one, I think, is like 300 pages. Got it. The one right before was um, Frog Prince, and it was like 60 pages. Whoa. But I had to buy it. It was a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't know what I was buying when I was buying it. But uh -huh. I wouldn't say it was worth it, but it wasn't like worst money I ever spent. You know? Yeah. Give me my dollar back. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, you can see through it. Yeah. <laughs> There's a cat in here, by the way, if anyone can hear. No, no she, she won't. won't. She won't talk if you can hear her. Camera shy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had a fun time with this one because it's like what I was saying. Well, okay. This part's kind of just <laughs> not proving my point very well. But it's like when I start adding... Um, when I get everything kind of finalized later on, it's like I wanted it to be like, ooh, this is a lantern that was painted with watercolors. So it's like I do certain things to the outsides of each um, shape of color to make it um, look as much like watercolor as I can. And I feel like this isn't super clear, but it's like I use masks, like I choose a fill layer of one color so it's like the whole layer would be purple. But then I use a mask to like mask out the parts that I don't want. So it's like um, when I go to the view that's like black and white color, it's I'm looking at the mask, um, which is like, is the color visible or no? Is it black or is it white? And that's, I don't know. I feel like it's hard to explain, but um, it's not an error when you see black and white only. It's just like I'm looking at the mask. <laughs> Hmm. Does that make sense? I suppose. <laughs> so this is called, this is purple, really, with the white parts that are being filled in. Um, but sometimes I just need to be able to see it easier. Huh. So I go to the mask view. And there are other views in this program where it's like I can do the um, 
what is it, like the flat colors. So I think that's what's happening right now where it's like there's not any lighting associated with it. Um, and so it's just, there are just like different views I go to when I need to see different things. Um, and um, that's that on that. Hmm. And sometimes I'll be looking at the 3D view and then other times I'll go over to the UVs if I want to draw um don't look at me when you say UV. <laughs> I just I want to be able to explain UVs better <laughs> but I'm like I know even when I edit the footage like I'm really purposeful about not showing the UVs very much because I just like I don't want to talk about them <laughs> but I didn't realize that in the voiceovers I would want to talk about the UVs <laughs> anyway um but yeah, the UVs are the, the kind of flat 2D textures, and so sometimes I just want to draw on the flat image instead of on the 3D shape because sometimes it's easier to zoom in on the flat image, whereas it's not easy to do the 3D. Um, and yeah, so this lantern is colored in symmetrically, but there are some parts where I... I don't know, it's just like it irritates my eye and I don't want it to look so symmetrical. So it's like at those points I add um, things that will break the symmetry a little bit. So it's like you might see um, just like an extra random leaf somewhere and it's like, row row, that's not symmetrical, but that's on purpose. Like this side right here that's happening, um, there's just a couple extra little leaves. <laughs> and now I need to make the metal parts of this look more like metal and fix those up make those look a little more watercolory change the tone a little bit and that's the way the cookie crumbles mm. and i think this is my favorite one right yeah i think this is my favorite one and i found a cool brush on substance painter this isn't the cool brush not yet this is just me like blocking out how i want the mountains to go how many sides does this have just three just <laughs> what do you mean by that well like just would be two okay <laughs> <laughs> my bad <laughs> Just 17. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <sighs> anyway, but I found the coolest brush that... Okay, it's not this one either. <laughs> oh but this one actually is pretty cool. Because um, it has the thick part and then the little straggler parts. It's just like some nice little brush presets. Did I say this reminds me of Mulan last time? Maybe. Because, like, you know, the beginning where it sketches <laughs> out the... Who could forget the beginning? Um, <laughs> Has, huh, have Avery and Felicity watched Mulan recently? Um, I feel like I want to watch Mulan. They're not into movies right now. They're not, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the last time I tried. So yeah, this is the cool brush. It's just like, it's just dots. Oh. And so when you just drag them across, you know, it just becomes wiggly lines. And it looks nice for this purpose. Cute. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, it's like, I think I like this one the most because um, this is based on one of the original four that I'd made for my other scene. And I didn't really like the way that one had turned out. And I was looking at it like, well, what was I even trying to go for here? And it's like, I guess I was kind of trying to do, like, stylistic mountains in that other one. And she's like, how about I do better stylistic mountains? And so I did. <laughs> <laughs> Up the mic. <laughs> like, I feel like I, that story had the tone of um, Paul Rudd's character in Parks and Rec when he's um, doing his candidate speech because he's like running against Leslie for that one thing. Mm -hmm. It's like she had told him an inspiring story of like, like, I really wanted to win this race and I didn't, and my mom still like congratulated me or something like that and so he like takes that story that she told and he's like I really wanted to win the race and I did and I did amazing yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay <laughs> <Shell>. <laughs> 
<laughs> in that one too. <laughs> it's just like I wanted to work with a yeah. I had to change that. I don't oh, know why. Dear. I don't know why it bothered me. Oh, what was man. yeah. <laughs> Don't ever call me oh, work. No. Oh, no. <laughs> this is my art. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, so this one, I imagined that the material of the lantern was like silk screen, kind of. So it's like not really paper. So I wanted it to be like richer colors. And I was looking at other kind of like silk art, and I saw that yellow was a kind of prominent color. And so I jammed on that. Why did you do the... Oh, that was probably just right on the seam of... Twas. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's like sometimes symmetry isn't helpful when you gotta... I don't know. It's like I don't want it to look like I was using symmetry. Don't worry, I fade, I fade those edges out. Don't get stressed <laughs> out. It's gonna look natural. Anyway, I don't always want it to look like symmetry was on. So like I tend to do things to kind of break it and just... Make it look natural. It looks like eyes. Ooh. Pack my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, and then I add these Ooh. things. <laughs> it's so rough. It's like I thought I was making something kind of final, but then it was just like I end up um, lower, like, making that look transparent I'm like no that's just the outline now I gotta like really finalize <laughs> where these little petals should go it's just like why can't I be more decisive from the start I don't know I'd rather be dis Ooh, I'd mm, I'd rather be I feel like he just said I'd rather be decisive than indecisive is that not the line <laughs> I'd rather be divisive than Ooh, indecisive. Yes. <laughs> we made it. If you stand for nothing. <laughs> okay, and then ugh, this is not going to stay blue. Don't worry. I like blue. Also, don't get, don't get attached. <laughs> don't fall in love with me. <laughs> like, a lot of the time, I'll choose a kind of neon color just to, like, see it clearer. Because, like... There were just too many... Just put your glasses on. Michelle. <laughs> oh, do you see how... Oh, wait, I didn't... This isn't a new occurrence, but it's like I did take away the little bottom layer of tools that you could have seen oh, in other yeah. places, but it's like sometimes I need those. Um, but if I'm just drawing freehand like this, then I don't. So like there now... It is. Yeah, now I'm choosing materials. I need to see all those things. It's helpful to have it there. Um, and sometimes I just forget that it is there because I'm fine with the amount of screen <laughs> and workspace that I have. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. You did it. You mm -hmm. did another one. And then this one, um <laughs> it was like a it's like a um barbershop. Huh. No. <laughs> barbershop. Ring. Rings of <laughs> not like that. <laughs> or pill pill bottle. Sure. It's just my art, but whatever. <laughs> and I think this one was divided in threes. I feel like it was more repetitive. I feel like I didn't have to scroll very... Yeah, I think it was just threes. Um, but this one was heartbreaking because I really wanted to do, like, loose, loosey kind of drawn chrysanthemums because I saw there was some, like... There, like, people have been drawing some chrysanthemums over the years. And so it was just kind of like a category of how you could decorate a lantern, and I wanted to try my hand at it. And um, I just couldn't make it work because I kept on wanting to, like, finalize the look of it. But it's like, no, you have to keep it loose. So eventually I was just like, no chrysanthemums. I'm going to do, like, just bamboo style. <laughs> like, it's going to be bamboo alone. Um, also, it's not going to stay blue. Don't fall in love with it. Lane. <laughs> I'm going to change it to black. But it's just like, the pink is too vibrant. I needed something to see and like if I did it black right away it would have blent in too much with the the dark green of those leaves so blent hmm so, so confident <laughs> not confident anymore <laughs> <laughs> wow <laughs> my own sister <laughs> gosh I know one time Griffin Mbimbam was saying that something was guilt 
in like gold and blah blah blah. Mm. And I don't remember with if it was Travis or if it was Justin, but Gilded. they were like, um, well, it could have been that. But the point was like they were like, yeah, well, it's gold. It can't be like nothing that is gilded would ever be anything other than gold. Um, but I think that I'm not sure if that's correct. But whichever way, like Griffin wasn't aware of that like grammar rule or like technical rule like a, it's too redundant you don't need to say that yeah like it was I guess like saying that something's ruby red it's like just say it's ruby mm. <laughs> um it was gilt in gold like yeah and I think it's like it smelt in silver smelted <laughs> no I don't know well in um seven days to die you can smelt down iron and stuff okay it's just, it's just melting, but it's metal. Hmm, so, so you, you smell it. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds fake. <laughs> English is weird. Gosh, and I'm having that wood grain, and I have to make sure it's going the right way. <laughs> and there we go. And this is the last one. So thank you, everyone, for watching. I hope you liked my five lanterns. I know I did. <laughs> Thanks, Shell. Okay, bye. Bye.